Hello everyone, my name is Alisha and I will be discussing with you some of your uh, GK pages. We will not go according to the chapter, chapter number because these uh, chapters here in the index are given in different contexts. So we will be going through pages and today we will discuss from page number 7 to page number 16. Page number 7 to page number 16. I'll read the sentences for you and as well as the answers. You just have to do that. You take out your pencil and keep writing the answers. And uh, yeah, I know we were supposed to meet in school. Uh, very first of all, I would like to welcome all the children to class 6. And uh, I can understand that you were eagerly waiting to your school uh, for, for your school to get reopened because you were completely new to the senior building and you wanted to see that who is your class teacher and then who all are your different subject teachers but that's okay anyways pray to god and stay safe at home we'll start with page number seven the first one this country is home to lake titicaca the world's highest lake that is navigable by large vessels must pursue the site of ancient ruins is also located here answer is c c this is the second largest country in the world. It contains World Buffalo National Park, which is larger than countries like Switzerland. F. This is the world's largest landlocked country. Its capital is Astana. H. The world's largest ice cave, Irisnyak Vault, is located in this small country. I. The country is home to the Great Pyramid of Giza, which is the only wonder of the ancient world out of the seven wonders still in existence. D. None of the islands of this Asian country located in the Indian Ocean is more than 1.8 meter above sea level. J. Also known as the last of lands and the last frontier, it is the smallest of all the seven countries. G. This is the smallest country in the world and home to the head of the Roman Catholic Church, the Pope. E. This is the most populous country in the world and is home to the Great Wall. B. Kabul is the capital of this mountainous country and Pashto and Dari that is Persian are its official languages. A. Turn to the next page. On page number 8 we will find the names of some of the fabulous fishes. Which of these is actually not a fish but related to corals and sea animals? Jellyfish. Which fish can live over a hundred years? Rough eye rockfish. Which fish is capable of living out of water for several months? African lungfish. What is the world's largest living fish? Whale shark. Which among these is considered to be one of the fastest fish in ocean? Sailfish. A fish of which species holds the record for the world's deepest dwelling fish. It was observed at a depth of over 8000 meter. Snailfish. Which of these fish has one of the longest migration routes in water? European eel. Which among these is one of the most poisonous fish in the world? Stonefish. Which is the only known fully warm-blooded fish? Oba. Which of the following is a fish? Electric eel. There's a lot more about fishes on page number 9. They are named so far their bird-like beak, which they used to scare by corals. They are tropical fish and have bright colors. They are found near coral reefs in the tropical oceans around the world. Name is parrot fish. Spellings you can see here down. They derive their name from their method of fishing. The foremost spine of their dorsal fin has been modified into a fishing rod shaped structure tipped with a fleshy bait hanging from their head. Batfish, goosefish and frogfish are types of this fish. Angular fish, also known as tans. These fish, these fish are small scale with a single dorsal fin. Their sharp spines are located on either side of their tail base. These fishes are mostly algae eaters, surgeon fish. They are found in tropical oceans and known to live among the sea anemone, earning them the name of an anemone fish. The movie Finding Nemo hmm, led to their demand to triple in aquariums, clownfish. These fish are found in tropical and subtropical regions. They have flattened bodies with elongated snouts which are found and edged with strong teeth. They can grow up to 7 meter or more in length. 
sawfish come to next page ah this one is tasty huh? dessert delights this chilled and refreshing dessert gets its name from french it is made of fruit juice sugar and is similar to sherbet sorbet s o r b e t fine when the names are given here in this blue box i'll okay fine i'll just uh, spell the word they are small light cakes which are crunchy outside and soft inside they are usually made with almonds sugar and egg whites macarons m a c a r o o n s this mouth watering dessert made of ice cream layered with fruit and syrup is often served in a tall glass parfait p a r f a i t this soft and creamy traditional italian dessert is made of sponge cake dipped in espresso and layered with mascarpone chocolate and sugar tiramisu t r i a m i s u this hearty and sweet layer pastry with a fruit filling inside is typical to austrian cuisine strudel s t r u d e l it's a traditional french dessert that has a vanilla flavored custard base it is chilled in special dishes with sugar sprinkled on top and then caramelized just before serving cream brulee c r e m e b r u l d b l e this rich indian dessert is made by boiling rice with milk and sugar is garnished with cardamom raisins saffron pistachios and almonds kheer k h w e r this is smooth and creamy caramel like sauce from latin america is also known as sweet from milk you can have it with anything from cookies or ice cream to cakes and candies dulce de leche d u l c e d e l e c h e in this oven based custard caramelized sugar is poured into a vessel to coat the bottom and a vanilla flavored custard is poured on top flan f l a n in poland this popular cake is made from fresh cheese known as twarog Sometimes potatoes are added to it. Sernik, S E R N I K. These traditional Japanese bite-sized sweets are made from rice cakes called mochi, a juke bean paste, and fruits. The paste is molded into various attractive fruit shapes. Wagashi, W W A G A S H I. A popular dessert in Greece and Middle East. It has layers of pastry filled with a nut mixture, baklava, B A K L A V A. I'm telling you now, I'm feeling like so yummy. Come to next page. This chapter is about the different natural disasters or the natural calamities like earthquake, flood, drought. So, page number thirteen. In which year did the most deadly cyclone in the recorded history of bangladesh occur 1970 which city was severely affected by the great fire of 1666 in europe london in which country was the fastest wind speed of 408 km an hour recorded australia what are severe winter storms characterized by strong winds and heavy snow called blizzards it is, what is a flash of light from an electric discharge in the atmosphere called light today turn to next page as we know them uh, these are the famous uh, names or tags given to some famous people first one is chanakya c number and then khan abdul ghafur khan d frontier gandhi milkha singh l flying sick sarojini naidu Nightingale of India, Lata Mangeshkar, Swar Kokila, G, Subhash Chandra Bose, I, Neta Ji, Tipu Sultan, H, My Su Tiger, Kapil Dev, F, Haryana Hrikay, Amir Khusru, A, Tuti Yai Hind, A P J Abdul Kalam, K, Missile Man, Salim Ali, B, Bird Man of India, Rahul Dravid, J, The Wall. next page this one is about games it is a national sport of argentina it is played on an open field with two teams of four horsemen each 
the riders hold on to a leather ball and attempt to throw it into the opposing team's goal the name of this game is pato p a t o it is a popular sport in china it was originally called wiff waff and ping pong it is played on a long flat table divided by a net table tennis it is a national sport of bhutan it involves shooting arrows with a bow at a fixed target board archery a r c h e r y it is one of the popular sports played in scotland in this sport player strikes a small hard ball with various clubs into a series of holes that is golf g o l f it is a national sport of solingia it involves gliding over snow using a pair of flat long runners bound to shoes or boots sky s k w i n g identify the team sports from the pictures given below first one is kabaddi k a b a d d i second is ice hockey third is lacrosse l a c r o s e and fourth is polo p o l o and the last page page number 16 poetry corner i love reading poems so here are the lines of some famous poems on the other side the names of the poem and um the one who wrote the poem the poet the name of the poet we'll match them i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence two rows diverse in a wood and i i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference see the road not taken by robert frost behold her single in the field yon solitary highland lass reaping and singing by herself stop here or gently pass This is D number, the solitary reaper by William Wordsworth. Ah, well a day, what evil looks had I from old and young? Instead of the cross, the albatross about my neck was hung. A, the rhyme of Ancient Mariner by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Samuel Taylor Coleridge um, was a very close friend of William Wordsworth. Lightly, oh lightly, we bear her along. She sways like a flower in the wind of a song. She skims like a bird on the foam of a stream. She flows like a laugh from the lips of a dream. And this one is B. Ah, uh, sorry, this one is E. Balkan and bear, Balkan bearers by Sarojini Naidu. Last one. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten law. law when i no date nearly napping suddenly there came a tapping as of someone gently rapping rapping at my chamber door and this is written by uh, this this poem is the raven by edgar allan poe so with this we have completed pages from 7 to 16 and uh, whenever we will meet in school in class once again we will go through them for now your homework is to read and try to learn them because when school will reopen all of a sudden you will get to learn all these things and i know it will is really going to be a problem for you so it's very good if you start learning slowly and slowly if you run uh, learn um one page each day i guess it will be very easy for you and if you have any doubt regarding this one whenever we will meet in class you can ask okay learn it